than Herman's has been today. It's the start of the third term here at the Keith Barclay Oval. Mench and Paramanov. Umpire throws the ball up. Mench, big thumb Great to knock. Bonner. Fantastic. Here he goes. Short little kick to Venables. Oh, Unfortunately, geez. Schwenison took the mark easily for North Geelong. So, Brent Schwenison goes to Morton across half back. Takes the mark. Chips the ball. Oh, straight into Dunkley, who was standing on the mark. Gets around. 50 out. Right foot kick. He measures the pass to McKenzie. And he'll shoot for, for goal from 30 out directly in front. Good start for the... Winchell C Blues. Um, it's got louder the hump. It's not great, is it? No. It's not great. <laughs> now that I've been brought to where though. Brought brought to your attention. Yes. Oh, it's been annoying me all day. I can yeah. hear it all day. So Brad McKenzie. Forty seconds gone in the quarter. Straight through the middle. No mucking round. Great start. His second. Kick the last of the uh, second term. Kick the first of the third term. And they go to 4 2 26, Winchell seat. Trail North Geelong 8 7 55. DeGrandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard. Minute played. I just had my eye on McKenzie. He seems to be walking and moving okay. We thought probably he got put to the forward line because of maybe an injury, but he's only been in the forward line for a total of about 70 seconds, I reckon. He's kicked two goals, so it might, might be lucks of fortune. They might leave him down and he might try and kick him back into the game. You got your probably your two best backmen in the forward line now. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Last week they were controlling the play against Batty Burn at the other end of the ground. I think if that's the case, though, they've got to keep it in the middle and down there because I hate to see them get it up the other end. <laughs> so ball thrown up in the middle of the ground. Mench just protects the space. It goes to Leak. Leak just a quick kick forward. Goes towards Gibbs. Got the cleaning. Well, went on the left foot. Wasn't a real good kick. But gained a couple of metres. Oh, Leak puts his head over the ball. High. Leak. He was taken high. The umpire says oh, uh, he's ducked into it. A bit lucky there, I think. Or a bit unlucky, I should say. Should have been a free kick to Andrew Leake, but uh, never mind. Umpire says it's hers. She's going to restart play just inside the centre square. So Mench up against Paramanov. Mench just times it nicely. Went to Herb, uh, to Fitzsimmons. And a key goes into the forward line. Good spoil there from Tricky. Get ground level. Ball's picked up. And tried to push towards the boundary line by Fowler. And he succeeds in getting it there. In front of Hardman. Well, I reckon he was held for... 20 metres then and never actually touched the ball once. So surely that's a free kick. They just tend to let him go, don't they? Ball is thrown back in this time. Ball ends up with Wright who steps around, goes short, goes looking for Pittman up in front. Can't take the mark at ground level or picked up there or tried to be picked up there by Hardman. He can't do it. Hutchison on hands and knees. Can't collect it either. Over the top of the ball is, I think it's Oliver at ground level. Once. Oh, yep. he has given it against him too. It's the first one I think they've played nearly all day, and Stephen Oller's got right to put his hands out. Resulting free kick goes to Pittman. And this is one that we think he probably should kick, but this could go anywhere. But as I said, form today's been good, so confidence levels are high. Missed one early in the game, but right from the boundary line, which didn't miss by much. Has an opportunity to reply to... Winchelsea's early goal in this quarter. So Pittman comes in. We're right behind the flight of the ball here. Staggering approach. Looks a nice looking kick off the boot. It's going to hold its line. Or the umpire, I don't know how he picked that because he's Ma on the far neither side. The neither, side. Do I, neither do I. <laughs> so Jamie Pittman has two behinds. And eight goals, eight now to the North Geelong side. We have gone three minutes, three and a half minutes, third quarter. The Granny Cycling Sports scoreboard. A Bayless from full back. Got Herman's wide. Season wide, he goes to the outer side. Well, really down the middle in the end towards Tornia. Falls off the back of the pack to Venables. Got the handball away to Tricky. Goes towards half forward. He must have a disease. These blokes across half back. The North Geelong boys. They're just there's nobody standing on them. De Blasio got it from uh, from Rickett. Back to Morton. Back to Rickett. Goes towards Fitzsimmons. Doing it too easy across there. Well, it's 50 or. Or it's play oh, it's on. Play on, yeah. one of the two. Ball comes towards right. Got some tricks right. Goes at centre wing. Goes to the right foot kick towards half forward. Hutchinson's got half a dozen against him. And he'd be happy to see it over the line. Boundary throw in. Right half forward. North Geelong into attack. Luke Parker is standing in the middle of the ground by himself. And guess where and the ball end up going? Yeah, it'll go there. You watch. <laughs> comes from half back for Winch. Go at Leak. Gets it around the corner. Goes towards half forward. McClure. Oh, De Blasio strong. takes the mark. Plays on quickly. You watch this. It'll get to him here. Look right. Comes in board. There he is. Oh, he's nearly going to go to him. He should have. He comes back the other way. And why not? Goes to Daniel Key. In between wing and half forward. Holds it up, Daniel Key. 
Still goes there. There he is. Been parked there for half an hour. Goes up, can't take the mark. Rides the bump from Venables. Goes from the centre of the ground, straight down the ground. Pittman can't take the mark. Third in line comes through to Santo. Got the handball away. Hardman left it behind at 50. Tornia. Only as far as Schwenison. Short little kick out's okay. Hutchinson in front. He's got clean hands, hasn't he, Hutchinson? Yeah, he has. <laughs> he's got very clean hands when he gets his hands oh, on. Oh, he's on. Here you go. Stroll in. Strolls in. Gives the ball away. And I think that might be uh, Pittman with it, is it? Kane it is. Pittman. It is. He puts the score on the board. Goal to him. And the ninth for <coughs> North Geelong. 9-8-62. They lead Winchell C 4-2-26. The Randy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard. Five and a half minutes played. Oh, I really don't understand football anymore, I don't think. <laughs> how, how can your centre half back, your half back flank and the other half back flank all stand on their own across the half back line and the opposition just keep kicking it to them? Where's the rest of the forwards? Where are they? Van der Kluster had to come from deep just to try and spoil him. Where's the other half forwards? Where are they? Living up the ground, they call it, Grubby. Living up the ground. Well, that's all right to go back up the ground, but you've got to get back. A ball back in the middle of the ground. Paramanov up, down too early. Mench taps it over the top. Pittman can't collect it. And it ends up in the hands there of Dunkley, who handballs it forward. Ooh, the player's taken forward in the in tackle. The Probably a bit unlucky there. I think the momentum just carried him, but the free kick's going to go to Bonner. So Bonner now just uh, inside the square. Kicks out wide. Target went looking for... End up the hand of Van der Kluster. I think he picked it up off the ground, but it's going North Geelong through right. He's been good today also. Kicks the ball out wide. you think the younger Paramanov would have the wood over Mensch, but it ends up with the hands of Tornia. Tornia steadies himself, goes back on his right side, kicks into the half forward line, looking for Venables, picks it up cleanly. Handball misses the target. They're under pressure again, but North Geelong have the numbers, and they win there and come out through Pittman. Kicks the ball into the centre or the wing position. Kane Swinnerson come out. Took it on the third grab, swings, goes inside, looking for Pittman on hands and knees and takes the mark again. So Pittman reels and goes, goes out wide. Nice looking kick, and that's uh, the Santos. The Santo has time steady, he goes over the top. Swinnerson's run down forward again, and he's taken the mark. So Kane Swinnerson now has the ball inside 50. Dangerous position there. Don't know whether this is within his rasp, uh, range here. He's uh, not the longest of kicks. Breeze will work against him, bring it back towards the top of the goal square. So Swenison now comes in. Deliberate kick on goal. Goes to the point of the square, up over the top. He's always going to uh, take the leg. Miller just up and <laughs> over the top. Well, he knew what you knew. It was going to fall just He's short. He's always going to take the mark. <laughs> When a bloke that size, and there's, no, there's not many talls bound there. Jeremy Season's a good defender, but he's not tall. And it's Blake Miller who's taken the mark, and he's got a chance to kick goal number three for himself. I reckon he's got and more a chance. So Blake Miller goes back and delivers his third of the afternoon. The tenth for North Geelong, 10-8, 68, 4 2 26. When you'll see, we have gone eight minutes, third quarter at the Grandy Cycling Sports Scoreboard. I tell well, you what, it's going to be bloody scary when they get Briggy back in that yeah, forward it is, line it too. it is, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> How are they going to go? And Clark's not even on the ground. He's not even on the ground, and the experiment <laughs> of the big fella down back has obviously not worked as well as they would have liked because he's come straight off the ground, Big Hermans, and you just wonder why. I know they're big blokes, but it's only round two. If you think you can beat North Geelong at some stage, beat them in September because round two, I'm not quite sure you should be taking injured players into round two. No. Back to the middle. Mench. Up against Hollands now in the ruck for North. Mench goes up, gets it down. Road by Hardman, though, through the middle. Left foot kick from the middle towards Senar. Oh, DeSanto comes out. He can't take the mark. The back of the pack, Fowler. Got leg, got the handball away. Bonner runs into it into a tackle. Schwenison comes across. Fowler used the body again. Needs some support. Handball was terrible. Hardman chopped it off again. Falls towards Fitzsimmons. Lee get, gets him in the tackle. Handball comes out towards the eels. Bit of time to give it to Hutchinson. The mensch comes the other way. Does pretty well. Good uh, clean handball. Gives it to Tawny on centre wing. They run all away. Keeps going now. Right foot kicks okay. Venables takes the mark. 40 outside angle. He's the only bloke that's been pushing up all day, Venables. He has. Been presenting, has been getting a bit of the footy too. <laughs> so, Brett Venables hasn't troubled the scorers to date. Coming in. 40 out, northern end. A terrible kick off the boot. Might have, uh, no, it's hit the post, I think. It has. Off Tim Van der Kloester's hands and through for one behind to the Blues. They go to 4 3 27. Trail North Geelong, 10 8 68. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard, 10 minutes played. Parker brings the ball to the club room side of the ground. 
and it's going to be marked there and cleared for North Geelong. They just do this with ease, just work their way out of defence. Steve Ricketts has been have to have plenty of time. The umpire now calls play on, so he just chips the ball towards centre wing. Heiss goes up, ground level. Hutchison picks it up. He's tackled directly by Season. Brings the ball out. Pittman's there, kicked off the ground. Again, it's going to be Rickett that gets it, but he uh, waits for the ball to be pitched through the legs, I think, and Season's now put some pressure on. Out the back door it comes from Hollands, ends up with Hardman, just weaves his way through the traffic. Goes back towards Swinnis and Brent. Long handball back inside, defines de Blasio. Has a running Parker outside, and he will use the ball. Steps back inside. Kick goes into the half-forward line. Not too sure who the target was, no, but that mark has been taken this time out there by Holmes, and Holmes now will turn defence back into attack. Kick goes out wide, and Venable's up, take the mark. He's inside the centre square this time, so definitely too far out to score. Looking for options further afield, looking for someone to lead. There it is. Nice looking kick. And the mark has been taken there by McKenzie. So a similar shot to what he had in the first minute of this quarter. We'll go back and shoot for this goal. And, and he's 50. been given 50. So instead of being a 50-50, she's now a definite goal to Brad McKenzie, who'll kick his third goal. Third goal in about 12 minutes of footy. If you mark that down. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's not many makes a miss. Put it the post. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so McKenzie kicks his third goal of the afternoon and the fifth goal now for the Winchelsea side. They're 5 3 33 They trail North Geelong on 10 8 68. We've gone 11 and a half minutes. Third quarter of the Granny Cycling Sports scoreboard. It's a little bit of a pity they didn't have two McKenzie's, did they? Because you don't like to take a player of that ability out of your back line, but when they put him in the foot on, he's kicked three goals. So, you know, a wonderful player and some pretty bad news, I would think, for the Winchelsea side. It looks like Hermans has got the boots off and he's following the way that Clark went earlier and he's heading for the rooms. He is. Back to the middle. <coughs> Mench. Rucking pretty much one out at the moment. Against Hollands. Pye throws the ball in the air. Mench gets it down. Sawney through the middle. Needs to pick it up. He can't. Gets a shepherd. Still picked now. He picks it up to Mench. Off a step. Short little kick to Dunkley's okay. Good vision. Narrowed them to him. Short. Still inside the centre square. Long now. Long kick to full forward. McKenzie tries to work his way to the front. Ricketts. These are in a league full back if you're looking for it. Goes out wide. Or centre half back, back or ruck or centre half yeah, forward or full you forward. Want, where De Blasio gives it back to Parker. Finds a little uh, kick around the corner to Schwenison. Takes the mark. Further afield, Hollands leads up. Takes the mark. Looking for a handball. Turns around now. Goes with the kick over the top to Parker. As you're in a league half back flanker. Takes the mark. Under pressure. McKenzie on the other side. Yep. We're just doing heaps job here, aren't we? <laughs> so Parker gives it inboard to Brent Schwenison. He girls it towards Hardman. Hardman's got uh, Kane Pittman out further. He goes there and also Eels. Two on two. Goes up. Oh, Eels kept his eye on the ball and took the mark in between wing and half forward. Miller gives him half a lead. So does DeSano. He goes in that direction. That's a great kick. DeSano can't take the mark, though. Hardman through the middle. Gets around. Holds it up. Gives it the right. Look, he's directing traffic in there. Lee Hardman gives it away now. Pittman. Short little kick is OK. Fitzsimmons plays on as he does. He goes to the right foot kick. Oh, open goal square. Which way is it going to bounce for Fitzy? It's not going to get, quite get there. Coming around. Heese gets it. Handball back in board. Oh, they're just toying. DeSano gives it away. Miller. And he just gets enough boot on it to put it through for a goal. <laughs> So his fourth, Blake Miller, and they did the triangle handball on the goal square there. 11 8 74, North Geelong Winchell C5 333 to Grandy Slog and Sport, third quarter scoreboard. 14 minutes played. Well, you're right, they did that, and then I think uh, Fitzsimmons did the little check side kick. It's real party time down here at the at the Ospen Oval at the moment. I don't know if Dog Doggy Ryan would actually like them doing that. I'd think he would say, just keep playing footy the way we play, boys, and we'll win this by 15 goals. We're back with the umpire in the middle of the ground. I'm going to take a stat on how many interchanges Doggies does next time we do North Geelong. Oh, my pen had run out here. <laughs> ball in the middle of the ground. It's Sawney who comes the ball. He doesn't take true possession of the ball. I think it's uh, Hutchison in there that does. Ends up in the hands of Mench. Puts on hands and knees. They like to keep the ball moving, Winch, so it's not a bad option to get the ball out and running. Mench again gets back in and gets about it. Wright, who emerges with the ball for North Geelong. Kicks into the half-forward line. Pittman out in front and he's taken another mark. His numbers are up high today. Hutchison running past, takes possession of the ball, goes out wide. Nice looking kick. Miller just couldn't get uh, hands free. And the ball hits him on the knee. Goes over the boundary line. We'll be thrown back in just outside their forward 50.
So Holland's just been told to come from the ground. Now he's been sent back again, so we're not too sure what's happening there. But uh, ball ends up. Venables, he's taken to ground by Hutchison. Just doesn't release the ball. Picked up there by Miller. Umpire says it's mine, so the ball will have to come back. So again, just outside there to forward 50. Miller's going to do the ruck work up against Mench. Mench, oh, he's got good body in there. Knows where to position himself. Over the top of the ball, Thorny. Tackle by Huss. Taking a long time to get the umpire with the ball back to him. He's having a bit of a quickly. push shove. <laughs> Again, this time the ball gets up in the hands of Eels. Quick kick going forward into the half forward line. Going back, Swinnison with a flight of the ball. Clean pick up. Oh, thrown out there by the sand into the hands of Key. Key runs on in the left side and kicks his third goal of the afternoon. Daniel Key has three. North Geelong to 12, 12, 8. Now they lead the Winchelsea side on five goals, three. We are now, play, we'll have played 16 minutes. Third quarter, Grandy Spike on sports. Yeah, scoreboard. Well, we talked about the mercy rule last week. If this keeps going, we might have to call it this week. But look, they're depleted. They're injury riddled. And I think North Geelong are going to do this to a lot of sides. But I think all of a sudden, Mench has got to go back now and say, this is how far we are away from the best side in the comp. And I don't know if they can make the difference up with that. So back to the middle. What are you looking for? <laughs> Scoreboard. <laughs> I'll give it to you in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> right, again, does well. Bit of candy in the middle. Gives it away by hand to Eels. For step, tumbling punt to half forward. Hutchinson in front, does well. Oh, oh Kane Bonner ran across the mark. He played on Hutchinson, then Tornia got a hand to it as he tried to get the ball to DeSanto. Wrapped up by a couple of Winchell C players. Umpire says play on. Tornia got it away to Fowler. Handballs it over to the top. Terrible handball. Set Tornia a big task. He's got about th four against him. Fitzsimmons is one of them. Gets it away by hand. Right. 40 metres out. Kick was smothered by Wilson. Comes back towards him again. Got a bit of time. He's handball to Fowler to Bonner. Goes with a right foot kick in the end. Towards uh, centre wing, Stephen. And Kane Pittman. Stephen. Uses his years of experience. Gives it away by hand to Van de Klooster. Left foot kick long towards Venables. Rickett comes back. And Schwenison. Schwenison does well. Breaks free. Right foot kick to Eels. Good kick and runs away. Numbers in the middle. Gets a shepherd from right. Does very nicely. Darcy Eels right foot kick to Miller. And Season Miller hits him on the chest. Can't take the mark. Season taps it on in front of him. Needs some support. Eels comes the other way. Oh, oh, courage by right both Pittman. boys. Holmes gets the handball out. Pittman comes across. Bonner, he wraps him up. Pack develops. Paramanov comes in as well. The umpire will come in. Ball it up. And good from both sides there. Good commitment at the footy. Well, they both had to go, and yeah. they both did. They did. So the umpire will ball it up. On centre wing, Mench, Paramanov. Push said the umpire going to Mench against Paramanov, so Winch to take the free kick. Got Oliver in the middle, goes in that direction, takes the mark. Still, still on centre wing. Plays on now, goes towards centre half four. Tricky, goes up in the middle of the pack, off the back. Rickett just controls the play, gives it away to Heese. Gives it away to de Blasio. Chips the ball to Paramanov. The two number 31s. Mench has punched it over the boundary line. And it will be a boundary throw in. Left half forward for Winch. They trail 5-3-33. North Geelong 12-8-80. 19 minutes play third term. So Mench and Paramanov both do the ruck work. Ken's down to Darcy Yields, who's been really good in the last couple of minutes. Oh, that back. And that's going to be uh, well over the fence. Rattled the cage of the uh, box here. Andrew Lee coming in to take the resulting free kick. So he's going to direct the ball back inside. Goes in towards Oliver quickly. He takes the mark. So he's still on centre wing or backward off. Oliver just waving his arms around looking for someone to lead up forward. But it's kicking to a three-on-one situation. The three are going to win out because Hess goes back and collects the ball. Handball goes over the top to Gibbs. Had the awareness that knew someone was coming from behind. Ball comes out and ends up in the hands of de Blasio. De Blasio just steadies himself. 
was looking to go backwards now as a player in the middle of the ground. It's Lockie Wright. The kick is good. Just gets the right uh, leverage on it. And Wright's kick is also good. Found Paramanov on true centre wing. So we'll mention a little bit lucky. Came in from a bit late. But the ball goes into the half forward line. DeSanto leads up well. Goes back by Pittman. Pittman has runners inside. Miller is the target. Coming out season. Does well. Gets the ball to ground. Took them on. Dropped the ball. Oh, gee. High tackle says the umpire. We'll give it to him because he attacked the ball well there, Jeremy Season. And he will go back, have the resulting free kick on the half-back line. Has a play on the far side of the ground. Decides to go short. Finds Oliver. He's backward of the half-back line now and goes short over the top. Season's rung on. He's outside 50. Needs to continue the flow. The kick goes inside. It's slow, but it reaches its target and found Stephen. Now steadies and goes long to the half forward line. Player up in front, Van der Kluster. Didn't time his jump there and the ball went over the top. Hutchison at ground level taken high and it will be his free kick on the half back line. So Hutchison to his feet. A little bit sore for the experience, I think. Goes outside. Lockie Wright has the ball. This kid's grown in stature since last year already. Kid goes short, found Parker. Good pick up from the boots, laces, goes long. Half forward line to Sando's the target. Didn't read it that well, and the mark has been taken over the back. And I think that uh, was Bayless. He transfers play, comes across to Tricky. Tricky has a runner outside, and Winchelsea are away. They've opened up the space. Good kick into the centre wing, found McKenzie. McKenzie looking to go long. Steps around the play on the mark, and that was Morton. The kick outside wasn't good. Fitzsimmons leads in the race of the ball towards the boundary line, and is happy to see the ball go over the boundary line in front of the scoreboard. 21-minute mark gone, and it's 12-8 North Geelong, 5-3 Winchelsea. Werribee 14 488 leading Anarchy 4 6 30. Thompson 8-4 leading Bannockburn 7-7. And I'll give you the rest in a minute, Dale. Okay, back with Fitzsimmons at centre wing. Kicks into the half four, sorry, towards centre wing. Standing under the pool of play is Holmes, and he takes the mark. Had Sawney communicating from behind. He goes to him now by hand, and Sawney now takes them on. Can go over the top. Little kick towards Wilson. Just got the required distance. He picks it up off the ground and goes towards Bench into the half forward line. That's a great looking kick, and the mark has been taken out there by Stephen. So Stephen on the half forward line. An opportunity for the Winchester side to kick their third goal of the quarter. And Fitzsimmons standing the mark. So Stephen comes in right next to the cricket pitch here. It's a nice looking kick off the bird. Beautiful and goal. Through for a goal. It is the sixth goal for Winchelsea. 6 3 39. Now 12 8 80 to the North Geelong side. 22 minutes gone. Third quarter to Randy Cycling Sports scoreboard. I reckon they had the ball out here 10 times and they're just too scared to go in because it just keeps coming out. And in the end, it got down to a, if you're going to go in, kick it properly. And that's exactly what Mench can do with all his experience. He hit a bloke on the chest and goal. But as I say, when the ball, when you just keep kicking it in and it keeps coming out, you get a bit reluctant to kick. And even McKenzie tried to do too much here and buggered the kick up because he just didn't want to go in to see it come straight back out at him but that's that's the strength of the North Geelong defence. So back to the middle. Mench up against Paramanov. Put your hat on Baldy. Mench gets it down right can't take it with him. Hutchinson can free kick found don't know what for McClure has got it. In the middle for Winchell C goes towards half forward Van der Kloester. Coming back, Brent Schwenison under pressure from Venables. Got the handball away to right. He is everywhere in this third term. Gives it away to Kane Pittman at half back. Runs across the face. Goes Rickett back to Pittman. Short little kick to Key. Across defensive 50. Goes long now with a kick towards half forward. Coming back is uh, Kane Schwenison. Paramanov. Mench over the top of it as well. Free kick over for a leg, said the umpire. Against Mench. Against Mench, I think. He, he, he thinks it's his. And that's 50. Is that contact below the knee, is Must it? Must have been. Is that, is that in, is it? I've got no idea, no, but that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Bit of Friday night football there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Key with the free kick. Goes long. Oh, that's a great kick. Oh, Hardman fell over at the crucial stage. Wilson, last line of defence. Handball to Tricky. Oh, under pressure. Gets the kick away leak. Will probably be okay, but he t drops the mark he should have taken. Handball, came back, then it falls into the arms of Kane Schwenison. He gives it to Key, usually does something good with it. Oh. Goes a left foot kick, that's oh. a great kick. Oh. Just measured the pass into the goal square, if you don't mind. Found Blake Miller. No, for, sorry, DeSanto. And he will shoot for goal from uh, three metres out. Slight angle for his second. So, 
DeSanto comes in, kicks the goal. His second. 13th for North Geelong, 13.886. They lead Winchell C6.339 to Grandy Cycle and Sport. Third quarter scoreboard, 25 minutes played. Yeah, I suppose you do have... You've got to feel sorry for a bloke like Season. He's played a pretty good game and he's done a good job on Miller. But sometimes when the ball comes in like that, you've just got no hope. And Miller, the, the way they're delivering the ball in North Geelong... There ain't no premiership hangover here, boys. They are spot on round one, round two, and round three and four and five too, I reckon. They're going to be hard to toss. Yeah, they're definitely putting the writing on the wall early in the game, or early in the season, I should say. And uh, as you said, like just the natural progression of these young kids now with Lockie Wright in, into a doggy system, I suppose you'd call it. Uh, yeah. He's just excelled in this third quarter. Well, now they've got Miller in the middle of the ground. Keys being held on to, but just works his way to the front of the contest and kicks the ball long into the forward line. Coming out to Sando, attacks the ball strongly at ground level. It's picked up. Fitzsimmons went one way, went back the other on his left foot. Kicks long towards the square, went over the top of Hoist. Has to go back and collect it. He gets does so, handles it out season. Smart, doesn't only go over commit himself. Went back and got it, but Hesses is just as good. Kicks the ball through from behind. That wasn't good, but it's uh, kept the ball in their forward line. 13 and goals, 9 now, 87, 6 3, 39 to Winchelsea with 26 minutes gone. Third quarter to Grandy Cycling Sports scoreboard. Kicks short from the back line. They go back to the goal square. Ends up back with Bayless. Good use of the ball. That's a nice looking kick. Mench makes it look really well. or well, good because he's taking the mark on his hands and knees. Handballs out. Ends up with Tricky. Goes over the top. Fan has McFarlane who runs free. Oh, great tackle there by Parker. Grabbed hold of his shirt and brought him down. Now they're under pressure. The ball's turned over. Key just steadies himself. Goes back inside and he has Fitzsimmons free. Players running through the middle of the ground. But he goes in the left foot. Forward pocket. Finds DeSando. Has players further afield and runners inside. Parker has drifted down. Top of the arc goes back over his head, and we'll find Miller. If he had been the other end of the ground, I would have said he would have had a shot and would have been straight through the middle, but this will test him. He's looking for options and has Luke Parker still oh. standing there, and he goes to him. Another 10 metres abroad, and I think Luke Parker, with his kicking ability, will get the distance no problem at all here. So Luke Parker has been. Very good from the half-back line. He now finds himself... Oh, don't know if he's kicked into the mountain mark and the smallest bloke standing it, and that was Bonner. Ends up there with Miller. Picked up by Season. Just hands the ball out. Ends up in the hands of Stephen, who goes long. Gibbs at the front of the contest behind McClure. Doesn't take the mark. Does well at ground level. Goes back, looking for support. Goes on the right foot towards goal. Has he got the distance? He's got the distance, but the accuracy is not there. And it's through for a minor score. That could be the siren. Well, that is the siren. Not Three quarter time. <laughs> it's not could be. It is. Three quarter time. It is. And it's Dorch along.